prior to coming back to grad school, I was working with the United Nations for Children. And my job was basically to monitor humanitarian events around the world. So I got exposed to every single humanitarian crisis happening around. You know, the war in Yemen, the Zika pandemic, Ebola pandemic or epidemic. And then shortly before I left was when the COVID pandemic was, you know, just brewing, starting up. And I kind of felt like my exposure to all those crises just, I wanted to do more. You know, I felt I wasn't doing enough. And I was like, okay, how can I use my skill as a pharmacist to do more in this space? And I was like, why don't I go and just get more research, learning and skills so I could inform and influence policy decisions. My current research focus is on helping older adults get off medications that could be potentially harmful. When people get older, bodies change. The way we respond to what we put in is different from what normally happens when we were younger. And a lot of times when they are placed on medications, the effect that was expected comes with other effects that were unexpected. And then people use drugs to treat those unexpected effects that have their, and those drugs will now potentially have other effects that were unwanted and unexpected. And then before you know it, they are taking as many as 20 medications a day. I saw a patient that was taking 32 pills every day. You know, it's, it's really that intense. And I was like, okay, how can we help providers, help this patient, support these patients in getting off medications that could be potentially harmful? Because you talk to some of them and they're like, well, I'm taking all these pills. I don't have any complaint. I'm doing well. But then most of these pills are treating side effects that other pills are, were causing. You know, and a lot of them times they're reluctant. They're like, I don't want to stop any because I know what I've been through in the past. I don't want to stop them because I don't want to go through pain. And my research is just focused on creating an instrument that helps this group of people get off medication safely, use that information to help them, help providers continually support them in doing this. I was able to talk to one of the patients because I also interview patients that have gone through that um, provider support process and she was like I had no social life I was always in the bathroom but after my provider supported me to get off this medication I can now go out with my friends and these are like older adults you know so that's what my research is focused on doing this award is such a blessing because it it's helping me to focus on what I have to do and not worry about funding so it's definitely has provided me with that form of support like Helen just concentrate on your research concentrate on you know what you need to do and not worry about how you're going to take care of yourself along the way one thing I will encourage people to do is make sure you check all the boxes you know they have you guys have like requirements instructions like really details on what you require from the applicant and I will encourage anyone that is applying to make sure you check all the boxes. I've done this. I did this. I did this. I did this. Check, 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 check. Don't leave any stone unturned and just do it. Like your, the work PhD students do is very important. Your research work is important and it deserves to be funded. So do it. <laughs> Apply. <laughs>